Uh, hi Gemini, this is going to be a soulmate reading. The cards were just a little bit messy so I was just going to adjust them and then the video turned on. <laughs> I do apologise for them being quite messy. Um, the reason for that is because I cleanse and sage them so they just get a little bit messed up and they don't look so organised. But uh, yeah, Gemini, this is your reading for soulmates for February 2020. We're going to see what's coming through, what messages I can give you and um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so Gemini, it's a beautiful night. We're looking for something dumb to do. Okay, that Bruno Mars song just like is is just really it's taking over me a little bit. Um, <laughs> I I just was start, I was just kind of thinking about Gemini, right? And that song just like came into my mind. Uh, for those of you that know that song, it's called "Marry Marry You," right, by Bruno Mars or something like that. Just came into my mind. Um, that's interesting, actually, considering it is February 14th in February. That makes that makes zero sense, right? It's Valentine's Day in February. Hmm, that's really interesting. Okay, well, let's see what's coming through. Oh, I do want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is down below. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are on Etsy. This one here specifically um, is the Soulmate bracelet. So there's so many bracelets on there if you are interested and do check out the reviews to see how other people have seen results with them, which is the bit that is just it's out of this world um so yeah if you want to check that out link to my etsy shop will be in the description box below these are meditated with they're saged they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life and um amazing amazing international shipping as well okay why do i keep seeing marriage why was i singing that song there has to be a reason it's interesting that the lyric from that actual um, song was we're looking for something dumb to do could this be spontaneous I feel so because we've got the knight of wands right knight of wands is very spontaneous now for those of you that are like I don't know who my soulmate is or I'm in a situation with your with my soulmate and I you know I'm not sure how things are going to pan out um, this particular reading I think is going to be quite sort of strongly marriage based. I, I feel that way. I felt that way from the very beginning as soon as I started to sort of get into this reading. So I would recommend you to go onto my channel and then watch your um, moon rising or Venus sign readings if you're here for your sun sign. Check out your other sign readings because that can also give you so much information as to what I'm seeing for you in Feb of 2020 because it really does depend on where the planets are, um, you know, and where everything is in correlation to the month so you can find lots of other information in your other sign reading so I highly recommend that but what I am seeing here is that there is something very spontaneous there's like a spontaneous thing where they just you know things have been just going the way they have for a little while and then boom all of a sudden right they they want to take things further it's like they're triggered by something and they just need to marry you that's literally what I'm feeling Okay, literally what I'm feeling. Look at that. This is about a decision. Oh my god, this is totally, totally what I'm seeing. Look at this. Three major arcanas with that Knight of Wands, which is super spontaneous. This is about attraction, chemistry. Um, it's sort of more that physical aspect of things. Um, I do see here with Temperance, it's a warm, fuzzy feeling of just wanting to make things work. We've got an angel plus another angel. This shows it's a divine connection. Judgment here is actually about them popping the question to you. Now if you're male or female, I always read energies in tarot, not genders. You might be thinking of asking this person. They may be thinking about asking you. All right, roles can be reversed depending on, you know, your sign and their sign and whatnot. So just want to mention that. But I do see with the judgment card, judgment is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is about transformation. So it's about transforming the situation. Marriage is huge, right? Marriage literally turns the situation completely to the other side so that's pretty huge and the hangman here they know that there's a spiritual connection here they've thought about this for a little bit when i say a little bit a very short amount of time but it's enough to spark something in their mind to do something quite spontaneous all right so 
I do feel like they've thought about this in, in the past, like what future would be like with you, but it's just a very spontaneous thing right now that they're just like suddenly choosing to do so, but they have thought about it in the past. Look at that, Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. We're looking for something dumb to do. Now, it's interesting that because that shows that sometimes this is, you know, this is a very spontaneous thing. So even though I feel like they thought about the future previously, they are very spontaneous and they're just running with this spontaneous idea. But actually, the spontaneous idea has a lot of depth and significance to it. So even though it's something sort of in the moment dumb to do, it actually has meaning for the long term. So it can be something that lasts for the long term. All right. That's something that I am seeing. The magician in the tower here, right, is showing that this has a lot more depth than what you originally see it to be. The magician is using all those tools in front of you to create something more in the picture, right? And the tower here is about sort of discovering or rediscovering elements of this connection that perhaps they sort of missed. So actually, when they say, will you marry me, all right? In many ways, it's super spontaneous, but it's something that they've thought about with great depth before, all right? So that moment, it might be like, oh my God, this is just so ridiculous and crazy, and it feels like something dumb to do, but actually, it has a lot of depth from the past. The Four of Wands is about foundations, it's about union, joy, happiness, and it's also about marriage. Ooh, we got another angel card. Okay, magicians talk about communication, so they're going to communicate this to you. Obviously, that would make sense, right? <laughs> All right, we got quite a few cards here. Ten of Cups, Five of Cups. Okay, so Ten of Cups, these two tens here are showcasing the, the marriage element and it's showing that they want this to happen, they want things to progress. I also see that there's been a bit of sadness in regards to um, them and how they would feel not being with you. So I feel like a lot of this spontaneous energy is them literally wanting to sort of, this is going to sound a bit awful so at, at times, how I phrase this, but they really want to tie you down, okay, in, in a good way, okay, they want to be sort of tied up with you so that you cannot be someone else's if that makes sense, because they really just have these strong feelings. They want you, they want to be with you, they want to manifest things with you, they want to dig a lot deeper and sort of rediscover more elements about you, but they want to make sure that they are with you. You know what I mean? And they, they can have this very sort of stable, committed situation going on. Deep realizations, epiphany, honesty, clarity, loyalty. This is also about offering out that proposal. Okay, and then we've got here the full, the Fool is about a new chapter starting, so of course this does lead to a new chapter, it leads to something new, and that's something we are picking up on. Whoa, Gemini. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fool is ruled by Uranus, so again, it's very spontaneous, right? It feels very spontaneous in the moment, but it's something that has been thought about. So the future and the progression of this connection has been thought about in the past. So we have here yin and yang right? We have forward movement and progression. We also have an element of balance, but we also have that Cancerian element, which is care, emotion, um, bonding, which I'm picking up on. So it's been thought about. And this here is about victory, success, potential, celebration. And it's also, again, a very strong marriage card as well. So that is something that's coming through. So even though it can feel like it's so, so spontaneous and so crazy in that sense, it has been thought about in the past. I feel like they get very, very sad when they think about not being with you. And that's one of the reasons why they're so triggered to quite spontaneously is just, you know, ask you. Well, isn't this interesting, Gemini? You got a proposal coming your way. Um, obviously, you know, this is a general reading. So as I mentioned, make sure you check out your other sign readings as well uh, to get a stronger indication as to what I see for you. Um, and yeah, so Gemini, this is your reading. If this resonates with you, you better let me know in the comment section below. I'm not even kidding. I need to know. I need to know. Um, so yeah, this is your reading. If you like this video, don't forget to like this video. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's such a self-explanatory thing, isn't it? If you like it, then, you know, like this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, my bracelets which are on Etsy, and I hope you have a, a lovely day or night, you know, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, and definitely do take care as well. Bye, Gemini.